Yep. So they did this one experiment where they gave AI two things. They gave them a camera and they gave them access to the Wi-Fi. Giving it too many things. That's, Stop that's giving too, it too many. Yeah. That's too, Stop too many. Stop giving AI stuff. They yeah. give them a camera and access to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. And they say, using this camera, I want you to map out the room and where the people are and then try to use the Wi-Fi, use the radio signal, right? And like try oh, to sort no. of use it to map the room. Whoa. So AI is like, gotcha, baby. Yeah. So they no see problem. the people, they bounce around the radio signals, radio waves and everything. And then That's they took the cameras show. away. Yeah. And they said, all right, now without being able to see the people, still using that same idea of bouncing, of using well, Wi-Fi as radar. Yeah. Tell us where these people are in the room. And they fuck mapped it perfectly. Oh, shit. So basically what I'm saying is AI now has the ability just using Wi-Fi. In complete darkness, doesn't matter. Yeah. They can basically find out where you are. So it's sort of like the dark night, wherever yeah. you are, because everyone has a Wi-Fi and they're all within a pretty close proximity. Yeah. So they know where we all are at all times, but AI does. Another thing they did with AI, so they had these doctors put people in MRI machines and then they would ask the people questions and they'd show them images and how their brain reacted, they would map it, right? Okay. And they had AI map it. Oh. So AI is mapping it. So they'd see, they'd be like, uh, think of getting, uh, think of uh, losing a loved one. And, and oh, so they, you know, think of losing a loved one and wherever their brain activity, you know, and the AI is recording it. AI is recording it. Yeah. And then they're like, now think of this, think of this. And so uh, they wake, they have a dream and they wake up. They're like, tell us what your dream was about. And they're like, oh, okay. Well, I was uh, running through the forest and blah, blah, blah. Okay. And this, so they map that. And then they say, AI, just map the brain and try and tell us what these people are going through, right? So a person has a dream and they say, okay, AI, what did that person dream about? And without the person knowing what no. AI is saying, the person, the AI said, he got, uh, she got pushed from the back and fell no. forward. And then they asked the lady, what happened in your dream? She's like, well, I was running. I got pushed in the back no. and I fell. For, yeah. So based Holy on the brain, crap. based on the brain activity, the AI was able to know what this person was dreaming. Dude, you realize the applications for this. Like, yeah. What if that Terrifying. was used? Yeah. For, Terrifying. You know, police interrogation or. Uh, a million things. Yeah. Just knowing Skynet. It can yeah. map your thoughts. Straight up. And then tell someone what they are. Yep. That's yep. horrific. So it knows what you're dreaming. So it maps the brain. So now it's like, oh, we don't even need that. We know how this works. What what synapses are firing when you're thinking about this kind what, of stuff? What happens when it's wrong or when if it intentionally gives bad misleading information? information yeah. yeah, it would be the U.S. government, baby. Got him. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, that's scary. Scary. Shit. Yeah, that's very scary. So basically, if you're not afraid of AI and artificial intelligence. You dumb. Yeah, you should be, man. Be very afraid. But that's where we're going. It's where we're going. Dude, I saw something funny online. This guy, like this guy look, was like a, two. Yeah. Him with the uh, green tie. It sounds like dude. something I would make up. It really does. <laughs> it is real. A ghost, a ghoul, a goblin, a monster, a werewolf. Went on and wrote in the comments. I was going to say that came out great. You're off to a great start. Yeah. <laughs> we got some fun stuff planned today. We got some goods.